lovely people welcome back once again to another exciting episode of stitches best collection i miss stitches today in this video let me share with you how to make this beautiful and easy handmade beaded bag before we start do well to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button let's get started materials needed so you cut your fish line you make sure it's long enough you cut it off then we are using 0 0.70 mm make sure you have the ends of the fish line pick four beads fix on any side of the fish line fix all four beads and then you cross with the fourth bead using the other side of the fish line you make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pull it out so one side will be longer than the other then you have your first ring done you go on and pick three beads fix one on each fish line fix one on the left fish line fix one on the right fish line then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines you pull it out then you have your second ring done then you pick three beads again fix one on each fish line because of the third bead using both fish lines you pull it out and then you have your third ring done so we are going to continue weaving with the same method so you have eight rings in all so you should get eight rings for this part and we have seven now so with the eighth part on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out so you have the fish line turned then on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out so it can turn completely for you to move to the other end then with the right fish line you go through the next bead you pick two beads fix on the left fish line Cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then you weave on with the same method. So when you get to the last end, you go through this bead here. Then on this fish line, you fix two beads, cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line. Then on this fish line, you fix three beads, cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Then you fix two beads again, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. Then you go through the next bead. And then we are going to weave on with the same method to the last end here. So this is what you should have. We are going to continue weaving till you have 16 steps in all. So 16 is to 8. That is what we want to get. So we have it now. We have our mat nicely made. Then one two three four you fold that side then you turn to the other side one two three four you fold that side as well so you have the sides done you are going to weave the base of the bag so with a new fish line you go through these two bits here so you go through this first one and then the second one you pull it out then on this fish line you fix two beads and then you cross the second bead using the other side of the fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line then you pull it out so one side will be longer than the other then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead 
fix two beads again on the left fish line cross to the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then you weave on with the same method so when you get to the last end with the right fish line you go through those two beads here and then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through this bead on this fish line you fix two beads again cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then we are going to move on with the same method to this end here to get to this end. And this is what we have after we are done. So still with the same method, we are going to cover up for these two sides. And I'm going to do that off camera. So I have it done. And I have all the base covered up. So these are the size of the bag. And I made the same thing offline. The same size, the same length, the same breadth. And we are going to attach it together. So with a new fish line, you go through this first bead here. You pull it out. Then on this fish line, you fix one bead. Then with that same fish line where you fix the bead, you go through this first bead on the other side of the bag, you pull it out, so you have the bead in the middle, then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line, make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other, then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead, with the left fish line you go through the next bead as well. Then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line. Pull it out, make sure it's very tight. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. With the left fish line, you go through the next bead. Then you pick one bead again, cross it both sides of the fish line. Pull it out. Then you weave on with the same method. Yeah, so as you can see, we have the sides nicely joining up and we are going to weave to get to this end of the bag and I'm going to do the rest off camera. So this is what you should get after you complete it. We have the sides nicely joined up and then you have a full bag now. So I'm going to weave a handle for the bag. And as you can see with the size, we have nine here. We have nine here. And then this side, we have eight. We have nine. And then the other side is eight. So eight, nine, eight, nine. That's what we should get. So we're going to fix the handle in the middle of where the nine is. So you divide the nine into two. So you get four for each side. And then the one in the middle, that is where we're going to fix the handle. So with the new fish line, you go through one, two, three, four. So you go through the fourth bead with the new fish line, you pull it out. And then on this fish line, you fix three beads. Then you cross the third bead using the other side of the fish line. Make sure you have the ends and pull it out so one side will be longer than the other as I always say. Then you have it like this. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead here. Then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through this bead again. And then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through this bead, this last bead here. Then on this fish line, 
the first two beads then you cross to the second bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out then you have it like this so we have the handle forming up so on this fish line you fix three beads again cross with the third bead using the right fish line you pull it out then you have it like this then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cause with the second bead using the right fish line pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here you fix two beads again cause with the second bead pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here fix two beads again cause with the second bead pull it out then this time with the right fish line you go through one two you go through the next two beads here you go through one two then you have it like this then you fix one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead fix one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead fix one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line and that is the last part for this round so as you can see we have the handle forming up nicely and we're going to develop this part with the handle so on this fish line you fix three beads cross with the third bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here fix two beads and cross to the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through this bead here the next bead here you fix two beads again cross to the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads here one two then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line pull it out then on this fish line you fix three beads again cross with the third bead using the right fish line pull it out with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads again cross with the second bead you pull it out then you go through the next bead here you fix two beads again cross to the second bead pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads one two then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and as you can see we have the handle forming up nicely so you move on with the same method so this is what you should get if on the right track you should see the handle forming up we are going to continue weaving with the same method so it's long enough for you to join it to the other end here and this is what I have and this is 17 in all so we have 17 now and this is the length I want so we're going to join it to this side but before that we need to repeat the same thing we started with the same step we started with to the other side here and I'm going to do that off camera the foundation we did we we'll do it to the other side and this is what I was talking of so this is what you should have so 
that's the same thing I made and on this fish line you fix one bead and then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you make sure the handle is lying directly to the sides and then with the right the same fish line you go through this bead here this is what you should get then you pick one bead and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out and make sure it's very tight then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here the left fish line go through the next bead then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through this bead with the left fish line go through the next bead then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through one two with the left fish line go through one two so both fish lines should come out from this bead here this is what i was talking of now you're going to pass your excess fish line through to secure this part of the wreck to make the handle firm and this is what you should get after you are done i have my handle nicely fixed and this is what we are doing for the bag but before that you need to fix in your drawstring bag then you pull it out then you can fix your things in it then we are done for the bag nicely and beautifully made please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye